<sighs> Welcome back. Uh, we just did the Flying Hawaiian Pine Double PA. IPA. <laughs> Pennsylvania up in here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. We agreed with food a hard 10 yeah. all the way. He went off on that shit that's got me hungry. It's Hawaiian sliders, <laughs> slices of ham, some pineapples, some honey, honey butter on it. Oh, God. As a straight beer, I gave it a nine because I got the full, I got the flying pineapple. Yeah. And that's what I really like. Um, he gave, you gave it an eight, eight and a half? Eight. Eight. He gave it eight. He had a bready taste that just really killed it for him. Um, I did give it a 10 on based off of foods. Yeah. So, right there, we're setting a hard eight and a half, soft nine. And you're sitting at that good pint sized can, so. Oh, yeah. And it's. 8.4%? 8.4%? Blue yeah, 8.4%. So, you got a 16 ounce can here. Two yeah. of those, you're feeling it. Yeah. Not bad at all. Alright, now we've done the pinner. Do uh, you remember what we were doing? Videos on my phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the Pinner IPA. Well, this is their passion fruit Pinner. Uh, throwback IPA, which I believe is a, which means it's a lower ABV, four point nine percent. Yeah, four point nine. You got your all-day drink. You're gonna have a passion fruit, a lovely fruit flavor. Colorado USA. Yep, I never seen this one before up until today. Shots having a lovely time in there. Well, you know, if you go in there and you stick your head in there, you hear them yelling too. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if maybe they really can't hear one another or what it is. Are they the closest door? I think his door is close. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be right. I remember, I remember this, well, the one we done of it. Oh man, I am getting that fruit. I'm getting actually kind of a dragon fruit, not really a passion fruit. Hmm. I love that smell. Yeah, I'm getting a, a lovely sweet fruit mixed in with the, uh, the kind of it's a sweet sour mixed in with the lovely pineapple pine. Yeah. Oh, I got it. This honestly smells like a bitch beer. Yeah, straight. The carbonation is really low. It's really thin, but that that smell is. Mm. I don't want to run it. If the smell, if it tastes as good as it smells, I gotta clean my mouth out for that one. <laughs> Mm, that does smell like a night at the at the Caribbean. It's like a. Mm. It's not like a pineapple. It's sweeter than a pineapple. Not quite an orange. So I'm getting a little sourness. It's like a mixture. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's the smell of it. So. That is an easy drink. The carbonation is a lot stronger on the drink than it is in the, in the in the when you look at it. This could afford to be a little colder. Um, I got these right like 15 minutes before I came over here. We stuck them in the fridge in the freezer for a little bit. I think if it was a little colder, you know, you get less carbonation burn. It would be off the scale but as it sets now I get straight up pininess and it just kind of mellows out which I like um, I'm getting right at the very first of the drink I'm getting a sweet very lightly sour So 
So this is from Longmont, Colorado. Um, yeah. which Longmont mm -hmm. is in actually the piney area of Colorado. It's like right smack dab in the middle of the Rockies. Um, that fruit flavor is just. It's like fruit juice. Bad thing, I will tell you right now, dry mouth. Is it giving you a dry mouth? Are you? No. But now, then again, I just drank, I drank some water before I did it. Did you? No. So, I got this new phone and it's so freaking weird. <clears throat> what is it? The S6? No, it's the S7. Hmm. But I can't use the internet. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure before I lie to you, but yes. So, where, where this beer is brewed is right, right in the Rocky Mountains. Um which is also the piney area where you where you got all your nice flowing rivers real beautiful you know you've all seen the movies yeah now I come through here the other day just a little south of it wasn't very pretty I was uh, on uh, Loveland Summit and it was snowing what? White out conditions. At the top of that mountain. It was in September? Rain. It was 24 degrees at the top of that mountain. Damn. Now, <laughs> you know, just gonna let you know. Hey. <laughs> Damn. But no. I love that fruit flavor at first. But that the dryness and the, the dry mouth on the end is what's really kind of getting me. See? You're not getting that? I'm not getting that. But as piney as it is, I should be. I don't know if it, you know, I cleaned my mouth out before I started from all the other beer. So that might be what's helping helping it out um because yeah i'm not it's not leaving me dry at all yeah that fruit flavor up front is what is mm, is killing it mm, awesome killing it in a good way mm. now i maybe as far as you go with dryness if it was a little colder that might would help it mm. but then again this is more of a chugging beer, not a let's conversate. And honestly, uh, Oscar Blues, their prices are their prices are pretty good, except for um, when you get to their ten fifty, you're looking at a five dollar can. Which me and him reviewed the uh, the year age ten fifty, and that was oh my god, it was good. Yeah, I think we get we get that one. It was 10, right? it was so it was such a high ingredient beer. Uh, I got a little bit on my on my skin, and it stained my skin until I got a shower. Mm. What did we give that one? I believe I gave it a 9 or a 10. Let's see. Oops, not Google Maps. <laughs> Apparently at the beginning of the video is e face. Uh, welcome back. It's going to be a little special. Was it? This, uh, this yeah. It's how thick the beer is. It's just... it's just really creamy. Yeah. It's uh, agent, but if you're going to do it, don't do it like I did. Just do two cans. Take my word for it. It's really good. Toss you in. 50 bucks worth. Uh, taste in the air. Creamy. Creamy, creamy. It's creamy. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. Yeah, I... You don't taste it at all. Um, but if you're going to spend that much money... Man, I didn't have a beer at that beer. point in time. <laughs> I 
I gave it a nine. I gave it a six. He gave it a six. <laughs> Just basically. Of course, that was um, pretty much a year ago, so. Yeah, it was. That was. Then you can tell the. You can tell it in the quality. I mean, I've. I've come to figure out the lighting and the uh, the filters and the uh, the contrast and the the brightness that on my videos and I've I've made it look pretty good for the same camera. I do I do need to upgrade. I need to get something a little different. I've had this thing for three years now. Um, and I didn't have all this when we done it. <laughs> it was a two hundred fifty dollar Walmart special. I need to upgrade. Maybe get uh, maybe like a Sony or something. So. And it's sitting on the same tripod I've been using ever since. Uh, it's 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 pretty broken, but it works. Hey, <laughs> get the job done. I have, right? a, I have a brand new one still in the box. I need to eventually break that one out. <laughs> Got to the point where there's a uh, wing nut that locks it on the vertical, and uh, I figured out if you twist the the base, it actually locks it also. So that's how I've been locking it. <laughs> mm. I chose, um, I spent. Yeah, I'm going to go and give a description. I'm getting an awesome fruit flavor. You can't nail it down what fruit, fruit it is. It's a, uh, definitely a tropical fruit. Um, good and sweet. Ends on a good breadiness. Uh, not over, over, uh, over bready like that flying Hawaiian. Uh, for me, it ends a little dry with a good, uh, uh, pine, but the dryness is a little too rough for me. What would you got? I got the fruit. Oh man! Yeah, it's, and and mm. I'm right there. I can't tell you if it's orange, pineapple, pineapple and orange, but it's there and it's good. Good and sweet. I get the pineiness. I'm not getting the dry mouth. Um, that's two different mouths. So, oh boy, <laughs> that can be thick so, so different. Mm -hmm. All right, you so, can, can tell so. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm giving it a straight that. All, right. All day, easy drink, uh, lower ABV. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna go ahead and say a nine. I give it a ten, man. I like it. Yeah, it's it's good. I like it. Um, yeah. and, and really, Oscar Blues is kind of on the cheaper end. Um, I don't remember exactly how much for a six pack was. A pink book? Give me a second, I'll look. It's a book. It's a book. What would it be? This one? You and your glasses. <laughs> Wouldn't she get glasses? She's had glasses. Oh, she just don't wear them? Yeah. For some reason, she feels like wearing them. <sighs> Alright, welcome back. Um, yeah, that is a... Honestly, the the dry mouth is kind of going away. So, I mean, just keep on drinking. 4.9%, I believe. Um, was it even for that? It's 4.9. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. Easy drink. Easy drink. And Oscar Blues, you're getting good quality. Uh, I think there's only been one thing I didn't like, and that was our governor. So, yeah. There you go. We'll be seeing you.